Hello guys, uh, this will uh, be a tutorial of how to uh, use the crossfader in um, FM Studio 12. First of all, I have to say, um, my English, as you hear, it, may not be the best. I'm from Sweden, so, um, but uh, hopefully you will understand what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. In my previous video, I uh, showed you how to do a mix, uh, like the transition part. Uh, with a uh, volume uh, automation uh, but um, a few days ago I found a better way uh, to do it and uh, that's uh, using the crossfader the crossfader is uh, basically like um, basically it's uh, just like the crossfader in uh, mixing mixer board, board the one that you're using so yeah, you get the uh, exact feeling, and uh, that's really good. And uh, another reason is uh, when you use this, the volume uh, automation, uh, the master volume will uh, not stay the same exactly every time in the in this part here, but with the crossfader, it will. So. Uh, I will delete this and uh, show you how to use the crossfader. Uh, first of all, you have to mark this part by right click and drag, and uh, then in the left corner, you will click in this crossfader with yeah the first song I have. So now you'll see. Uh, Crossfade automation. Uh, that's uh, and that's one uh, you have you will use. Uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to change it. But uh, I will. But I, I will see. I will show you how to how it sounds uh, right now. it works but uh, I don't think it's I think I can do it better so first of all I will change in the middle about here rise crosshair here something like this should work I'm not sure but I will uh, try in here. Change it here first of all. It's more like it's not really that important, but I'll do it anyways. Like that. Yeah, I'll take it right here. Something like that. I will share one more time how it sounds. Sorry, I 
I took one more. Song. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's uh, basically all. And uh, I hope uh, this will get uh, useful for you. And uh, yeah, that's all for me. And uh, see you. Bye.